What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. So the hoodie finally came in. I've been wanting to do this video for like two weeks. I ended up doing the salute to service hats before I did the crucial catch stuff uh, because it took forever for the hoodie to get here. But this box right over my shoulder is all of the hats, including the beanie and the t-shirt for the 2023 crucial catch cancer awareness, basically uh, New Orleans Saints gear for this year. So we're going to take a quick look at everything and go through all the different hats and check out the t-shirt and the hoodie. So, stay tuned. So just like we did the salute service stuff, we are gonna start with the beanie. So they went with this prism effect this year. A little different from years past, so you know. All good, so each color represents a different type of cancer, because it used to be breast cancer awareness, and it was just pink for October. Now they include multiple cancers, so that's why it's a crucial catch, intercept cancer. So it has the Saints Florida Lou with the word Saints on the front, newer flag on the side, and it actually seems like a moderate temperature beanie, not like super sub-zero type of cold. I'll take the tag off later, but man got to be honest with you, aside from the tag hanging out in my eye kind of dig this one more than the service one i like bright colors especially in the summertime which i know beanie's not really for that but i do like to train in beanies randomly year round when i want to get intensify my sweat that's what the be where the beanies come in in my workout so i kind of like the aesthetic of this one really like the variety of colors and uh, no this has nothing to do with pride because I know some joker is going to say something like that in the comment section because if you notice it is not the same this is all pastel colors this represents including the pink obviously for breast cancer but they have all the different types of cancer that the NFL does support and you know donate money for research to which is what all of the proceeds for this goes to that's why I like the annual collections of Crucial Catch and Salute to Service because they go to phenomenal causes and it's also the dopest gear of the season every year. So let's check out these hats. So the first one we have is the 3930 in a small medium. This is their flex fit. So the bill and front paneling is that prism look. I'm kind of digging it. I mean, to buy all of it, I would have to dig it, right? I saw it all in pictures, new air flag. Crucial catch banner patch on the rear, nothing on the side panel. You have a black under visor. And 3930s are their most popular model. It's going to be a phenomenal fit. They always are. I love the aesthetic and look, which for those of you who have noticed I say aesthetic a lot, is for the look of this hat. This looks great. I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm really digging what they did this year. Because most years, last year was, hmm, it was okay with that kind of tie-dye effect to it. It was okay. It was different. They tried something. But normally the crucial catch and or before when it was breast cancer awareness, it's always the most fire gear they could put out because I love pink. I'm a guy that loves to wear pink. Anybody that's familiar with me or follows me knows I wear a lot of pink, not just in October. I'm not just a pink October kind of guy. I wear pink year-round. And this is a really cool aesthetic. Now, I typically don't wear these backwards. This is not a model that I will. Really, the 5950 is the only one that ever has a chance. It depends on the fit, but 3930, great fit, great feel, and I think a phenomenal look. Next, we have the 940. This is the adjustable, so here you see the color schemes going around the Florida Lee. I like that. It's a subtle contrast. You have the New Era flag on the side, and instead of being in the rear, the Crucial Catch patch is back there as well as a snap enclosure adjustable with the prism look on the under visor it's predominantly pink and purple so let's go ahead and adjust it for a looser fit typically a, you know a little bit of wiggle room usually all of the snaps are the right size for me so let's see what we're working with it actually feels like a pretty much perfect fit I do have a little room if I wanted to make it snugger but this actually feels perfect I don't think I'm even going to test the waters with one snap close, close down more to tighten more. This is actually a really good fit. I do like the patch kind of being like a banner on the side here instead of being in the rear. I think that's a good placement for it. I love the contrast of the outline of the Florida Lee with the multicolors. And then, of course, the undervisor for a beautiful contrast to the all-black look. 
I think they killed it this year, guys. So far, I think I'm going to like every single one of these, which you'll see there's a variation to each different hat model. I think they did a phenomenal job with this. This is another one. Looks great. We might as well take a look at the dad hat. This is the 920 adjustable. This is the slouch unstructured cotton hat. This is the most comfortable hat New Era makes. Has that same contrasting style. Patch on the side. It's, it's the same setup, just in the slouch strap back adjustable. Prism under visor. And then like I said, it's a strap back adjustable. So let me get this adjusted real quick. So here we go, another, oh man, yeah, comfortable. I've been on kind of a dad hat 920, 47 brand cleanup kick as of late. So I've been more you know, like excited like a kid in a candy store for the 920 model for the annual releases this year than anything else. Beautiful aesthetic to this one. This is the one that I'll probably wear to the gym. I might even buy a double up because I don't like to really sweat in the annual releases. I buy a double up sometimes. Like I do have year before last, I have the Crucial Catch hat, both the 3930 and the 5950. I, I did a double up, so I wear them to the gym. I did that with one year with the Salute to Service, actually with two models for Salute to Service from three years ago. I did that with the training camp hat for this year. Like sometimes I'll like a hat so much that it's like, I want another one that I'm going to sweat like crazy in at the gym. And this might be the one. I'm probably going to get another nine. I might get the double up for this one because I just absolutely love it. It's super comfortable. These are great hats at the gym. Keep the sweat out your eyes for a bald guy like me. And they just look great. This is the kind of model that will go with anything regardless of the color scheme and pattern that the hat actually has. But it is a very, very clean look. And it's super comfortable. Now we're getting to the big boys, the 950 snapback. Here we go. Prism on the top of the brim, as well as the contrasting color outline on the floor. At least. So you get the best of both, and the prism goes around to the undervisor. So the entire bill is the prism look, plus you have the contrast on the floor. -to you have the crucial catch patch on the side, new era flag on the side, which means there's nothing on the snapback enclosure. So for those of you that don't know what the 950 is, the 950 is the snapback adjustable flat bill hat. So for me, with 950s, snapped all the way is usually a slightly looser fit. You get a little slight bend to the bill, which actually it fits great. So the particular last on the way this and the 940, so 940s and 950s are snapback adjustables. One's a standard curved bill, and then one's a high crown flat bill. For those of you that didn't know what 940 and 950 actually mean with New Era's hats. So, another clean look. Another clean look, I have to say. Uh, I'm really excited about the Coup de Gras, which I believe to be the flagship model for New Era and the flagship hat for all of these series of hats that they do, which is the last one we're going to get to in a second. But overall, I really dig that there's... It's not super redundant. I like that there's, there's changes to each model. So it's not like buying the identical hat in a different model. I love that they do it this way. New Era, if anybody sees this, please don't ever stop doing that. Don't make the hats redundant. I love the change up. For guys like me that like to support the cause and buy the entire collection to support my team and the cause, please continue to do this. Because this, I mean, this is, this is some serious color pop without the prism being all over the top. You still get the prism outline with the prism on the visor. It's a clean hat. And then last, like I was saying, the coup de gras, the flagship, the new era 5950 fitted hat, all black upper contrast on the outline for the prism. Now this is the one where it makes sense for it to have it. I fully expected it. So new era flag on the side. You don't have the patch here. It's on the rear because it is a fitted hat. I fully anticipated that to be the case. That's where it makes most sense prism under visor. So I typically wear a 7 and 1 8, but there's always that possibility that's going to run a little big. And if it runs a little big, that's typically the ones that I'll wear backwards because it doesn't really press my ears to tuck me. I don't have hair. So when I wear a fitted hat backwards, I like to be able to tuck my ears under because I think it looks stupid with them flapping out. But let's see what kind of fit we have going on here. Not really all that snug. It's got a little bit of a looseness on the sides. Not bad. It's not a perfect fit, but it's close. It's not real loose, and it's far from super snug or anything. It's actually one of those very comfortable fits where it's not too much space on the sides, but it's also going to be 
a little too snug for me to enjoy it backwards. So it's like perfect for my head and the way I like to wear them forward. So this works out. And this is, it's the best one. I mean, I fully expect the flagship model, the 5950, the hat that made me become a new era head basically over the years. Most of my, majority of my life I've been into, that's my brand, is new era. Because of the 5950. I love the 5950. It's a movement among those that enjoy hats. You get your size, you roll with it. There's so much to offer out there. I really, really dig it. So let's see how it's going to look backwards. We'll give it a shot. See what we're working with. Might not be too bad. It's not too bad. It's not too bad, but it also doesn't really strike me as something I'm going to want to wear backwards because that big banner patch, I don't think it really works. I don't really like the look backwards. So not really going to be something I'm going to wear backwards, but I'll tell you what, forwards, the proper way clean look so with that said let's pop these bad boys on real quick shall we Well, that's all she wrote. I appreciate you guys hanging out, watching, loving the new Crucial Catch gear. I'll definitely get plenty of wear out of this. I'll rock this hoodie to the gym, the beanie from time to time, the little bit of cool weather I will get this winter. This will definitely get some run, but through the month of October, you'll catch me wearing the Crucial Catch and breast, breast cancer awareness stuff from all years past, including this new set of gear. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe before you leave this video. Catch you guys in the next one. You have a good one.